I had some drunken moments and some high moments and some days where I just felt like, why you left me? Hey you guys, welcome back to Ebb Inspires. I'm Ebb. If it's your first time watching, welcome boo. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the like button and also the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of my latest content. Now you guys, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. If it ends up being like 25 minutes, try this in my head and not my heart, but I'm gonna keep it short. Let's get right into it. Hey strong friend, how you doing? Yeah, you, the one that everybody comes to with all of their problems, always has a solution, takes everybody's junk and tries to figure it out, the one who listens to everyone for hours. How are you doing? I'm asking you because I know you don't get asked that enough. Maybe you're the older sister. Maybe you're the big brother. Maybe you're the mom or just the rock in your friend group. Maybe you're someone who always brings everybody together for holidays or plans everything out. When do people check on you? Do you let them? If not, I'm here to remind you that you're not alone. Speaking from experience, I consider myself to be a strong friend. I consider myself to be someone who likes to encourage, likes to pour out, and I'm generally happy, but I think when you're a person that gives and helps and encourages not enough people ask you are you okay or how you're doing and i know everyone has that feeling in one area of their life it's like people place you on a pedestal as if you don't have real feelings real thoughts real needs <laughs> as if you're not human and you feel alone when it comes to being strong one thing that i learned is that for me i was really calling pride my strength i said oh i'm strong i'll be okay i'll get through it and if you're anything like me, I encourage you to let people in. Because I was a person that was like, oh, you can be vulnerable with me, tell me everything, tell me all your issues, I promise I'll listen and I'll help you work through it. But I couldn't do that with other people. Like, I, I didn't want to tell them what was going on in my life because then it would cause me to be vulnerable, then it would shatter this image that I was perfect and even though I knew I wasn't and something inside of me was screaming and saying, I'm not perfect, don't y'all know I'm human? What the heck, you know, it just, <laughs> it was foreign to me to let people into my life in that way. And over time, I learned that it was necessary for me to be able to be. Strong friend, it's okay to not always have it together. It's okay to not be strong. It's okay to let people in and embrace the community that surrounds you because the same people you pour out to, some of those people may be wanting to pour back into you. God can speak to you through anyone. Y'all, I'm in my car right now, <laughs> which is ironic because this is my breaking place. This is the place where I cry out to God. This is the place where I cuss, I yell, I scream, I, 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 I fight. Like me, me and God have that type of relationship because I don't know about y'all, but I'm not perfect. And I talk to him like my friend, right? So this is the place where I'm like, I can't do it on my own. Why is no one understanding what it is that I'm going through? Why is no one, no one there for me? Why can't people just pick up on what I need? Why, why, why? asking all these questions and I tell you like within minutes sometimes within that day or over the next few days it's like a friend or someone who I, I haven't talked to in a long time will send me an encouraging word and they're they'll be used by God to just remind me that I'm not alone to remind me that he hears me to remind me that he cares about me there's a scripture here that says, this is my command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And I believe that we were created to not do it by ourselves. We need people and for me, I need God. And you may be watching this and like, Ebony, you talking about God, but number one, I, I really don't believe in God. Our relationship really isn't like that. Like, uh, I don't know, he, he said he was gonna be there for me. He said he would never leave me nor forsake me, but it feels like he always does. It feels like these same situations keep happening Happening. It feels like everyone is just dying around me. It feels like nothing I do is right. I feel so alone. I feel so broken. And you're telling me to reach out to my friends, but they don't care. They really don't care. I feel you. I feel you. I do. I've been in that space, y'all, 
where, like I said, I'm not perfect and my relationship with God has not been perfect. Like, <laughs> I've questioned him so many times. I felt like I couldn't understand this big mysterious thing that was in the sky that as I was growing up, people told me he was this and he was that. And our relationship was very fear-based. I didn't want to do anything wrong. I didn't want to mess up. And who wants a relationship like, like that? Who wants a love like that? And um, I went on a journey of understanding who God was and forming that relationship with him. And it was a tough journey, man. Um, I questioned a lot. And there were times where I didn't believe in him or that he was who people said he was. You know, I um, I thought that I was the master of my ship and that I was in control and that I was God-like and all these things. Like I went through the journey, y'all know what I'm talking about. I had some drunken moments and some high moments and some days where I just felt like, why you left me? Do you even hear me when I cry at night? Like, do you even understand what it is that I'm going through? I've been there before, but God will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. I encourage you and I pray that each and every one of you that are listening to this has this relationship with him and you're able to build a relationship with him, build a friendship with him and just tell him, God, I can't do it on my own. I need you. And I promise you, he'll remind you of who he is. You just gotta look. He'll send someone your way. He'll send something your way to remind you that he is God and that you are his most prized possession. And he's done it for me, so I know he'll do it for you. So I've talked to my strong friend, but I wanna end this by talking to my broken friend. That person who says, okay, Ebony, I hear you, but nobody cares. Nobody cares about me. People just keep hurting me over and over again, or I keep hurting people over and over again. My life is worthless. It doesn't mean anything. Like I'm to the place of no return. I'm in such a dark place that I don't care what you say, it won't get me out. I could leave today and no one would care. Nah, it won't win. I'm here to say it can't win. That it is that situation, that circumstance, that thing that is trying to attack you and tell you that you don't mean anything, but you do. You have purpose. And I know this may seem a little out there for some people who are watching. And sometimes when we think about people having suicidal thoughts, we think that they have to be in a straight jacket or they have to go through something super crazy or that they have to be, you know, admitted. But no, <laughs> the person you're sitting next to right now may be having suicidal thoughts. They may have just cried themselves to sleep last night. The person that you work with every day that laughs and smiles, they may be thinking about ending it all because they're like, I wish people could see the pain. <laughs> I wish people could feel my hurt. That's what it looks like. And if you're that person, I'm here to tell you that you're worth it. Your life matters, that you have purpose. And all these things are cliche, but I'm gonna tell you again and again and again until you believe it. Because I've been there. I've been in that place where I'm like, who cares if I go? I'll be better off with people just not having to deal with me anymore, where I don't have to be a burden anymore. Yeah, it may be hard to believe that we have these thoughts, the people that, that we think have it all together have those thoughts, but trust me, they do. <laughs> and you got it, man. Don't give up. I love you. I care for you. I don't even know you, but there's somebody out there that's praying for you, and I want you to know that. Now, y'all, I know this is pretty deep. This is pretty like, ooh, but sometimes we need that pick-me-up, and we need to know how much we matter and that we're not alone. So I'm going to end this here, you guys. I love you. God loves you more. Be you. Be inspired. Until next time. Peace.